What's up everyone? So I did the move. The Beisher and the Dwarf Oscar is now in this tank all by themselves. They're, they're well the Oscar's really pouting and the, the Beisher's doing well. But he, he's doing okay. He's just chilling over there in the corner in the little cave I built for them. Just so they had something in there for now. I might do something different in a little bit, but I'm not too sure. I kind of like it how it is. Because once they get comfortable, you know that Oscar's going to swim around. And this Beisher is crazy. He's always swimming around. But yeah, this is going to be their new home for right now. Look at that guy. He's pouting. And then, so I did move my Jack Dempsey's in here and I kind of rescaped it. A little bit, nothing big. I put a lot of that shelf rock. And you can see my big Jack Dempsey kind of right there. Ah, horrible glare. Let's see if I can see him over here. There, there he is. But him, um, and then the female I think went down there. Yeah, I think I see her laying down down there. But yeah, what do you think? Like I, I put all kinds of nice little caves. I put that school back in there. Got a little castle in there only because there's little caves in there. But the um, the convicts are still in here, and there's the fire mouth hanging out back there. And then you can see that big guy. He's uh, there. There you go. You kind of see that. There he is. But well, still a little stressed up. He'll color up a little bit later. Huh? You can see him moving around. He's, he's doing all right. Hopefully this female comes out too. But yeah, that's so far that's what I did in the fish room. Um, I still haven't messed with that tank. I haven't got to it yet to clean that, get it reset up, but I'm not in a hurry for that. But yeah, so that was the little upgrade and the changes. I think it looks pretty cool. And I added that little hang on the back filter too. That's what was running the, um, the Jack Dempsey tank. So now this tank actually has three filters. And over there in the corner has two homemade sponge filters, DY sponge filter with a power hit. And then it's got that little hang on the back. And I figured with uh, five decent sized cichlids, I might as well filter it longer. But yeah, what do you guys think? What do you think of the little upgrade on this tank? I kind of like it. I like how it looks. But yeah, everyone's kind of stressed out. This way you see no fish right now. Look, 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 it's coming out. Yeah, he came out a little bit. He's still a little, his color is very, uh, he's stressed out a lot. But, um, we just get to say hi to the jack or the fire mouth or the convict for the first time. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of them. They're saying hi. Yeah, he is very stressed. His color will come back soon. Like he's trying to uh, trying to pump him out, but it doesn't look like he care he cares one bit. But, yeah. Fire mouth is hanging out back there, sorry about the streaky glare, but yeah. But that's the tank, I hope you guys enjoy. That's that one. That's that one, the bicers are right there, and my little Oscar. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, like, share, and subscribe, and have a good day.